Elon Musk versus Richard Branson. They are both so goyish to me. I, I it's very hard to choose. They both want to be in space. They're both <laughs> Which very is rich. Not Jewish. No, no Jew is like be me up. You don't hear Michael Bloomberg going to space. Elon Musk is Jewish. Yeah, he's a little bit more eccentric mm. and quirky, and Richard Branson is just, he's just too blonde. Burgers versus hot dogs. I mean, hot dogs are Jewish food. Yes. Deli mustard. Yes. Sauerkraut. Yes. I don't want it if there's no sauerkraut. I'm not gonna just put ketchup on a, a tube of meat. Dare I say that ketchup is not Jewish. And a hot dog, it's a no, no. That's yeah. for babies. Yeah, to lubricate the throat. <laughs> But not for adults. <laughs> toilet paper over or toilet paper under? Under. It goes under the roll. Under is true. Because doing it over is more work mm. and it guarantees you less coverage. Are we at the Marriott? It's a gross act that's happening anyway. Let's get it over quick. We want to get it over with. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Elliot, Jeff in Las Vegas. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining me. Oh, sure. My pleasure. Well, uh, Two Jews choose, you know, try to say that three times fast, right? Uh, <laughs> explain the concept behind your new show. Yeah, basically, uh, it's me interviewing um, other Jewish celebrities uh, to delineate whether something is Jewish or goyish. And goyish is technically something that's not Jewish, but it's really about, you know, it's a subjective game about what really is like not for the Jews. Um, and so it's, you know, it's all subjective and, and, uh, it's not a real, it's not a real rule or it's not real, uh, it's not data, but it's us deciding like what really feels like ethnic, ethically, um, ethically honest to us. So it's open to interpretation, you're saying? <laughs> Completely, but that's my favorite type of, of game where, you know, we're basically pretending what, uh, pretending, making up science basically, yeah. So give me an example. Uh, let's see an example. Um, well, uh, I, Rachel Antonoff and I decide whether uh, uh, ketchup or oh, I'm forgetting that. I think it's ketchup or ranch. Oh, sorry. It's it's sad, whatever. I'll I'll just go with a different one. Uh, <laughs> I talk with um, Josh Peck about uh, ketchup versus mustard, um, and we talk about how you know ketchup is 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 not is not really Jewish because technically it's all about, you know, at least with kosher hot dogs, putting as much stuff on top of it as we possibly can. That's more, uh, that's more something that our people would do. Yeah. Ketchup doesn't sound right on Hebrew national. Doesn't, doesn't sound like it goes with it. <laughs> but it's on the not, Nathans, it does. It's not, it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and some of your celebrities that you've asked to participate, you know, Josh Peck, we can see right here. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, Judy Gold, um, Abby Jacobson, my buddy from Broad City, uh, Susie Essman, also from Broad City, uh, Rachel Antonoff, uh, the designer, um, and uh, let's see, uh, Josh, I said Josh Peck. Um, yeah, I think that's it's those five right now. And May is Jewish American Heritage Month. Is that a coincidence that your new show is debuting at the same time? <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's the, the perfect timing um, to basically you know, poke fun at, uh, poke fun at basically like what, what feels Jewish. It's really about like feeling, but it's important to also use the opportunity, uh, to use humor to, to combat anti-Semitism in the goofiest way possible, which is, which is what I like to do best. Um, and, uh, there's, there's the first video actually I realized is still is up, um, on Comedy Central with, it's me and Seth Rogen. So it was a really good place to start basically. Well, I'm feeling it, Elliot, because, you know, uh, about two years ago, my I was adopted. My whole family was adopted and I was raised Protestant. But recently, uh, my family about two years ago did 23 and Me, you know, as a present for me, you know, to find out. And I found out that I'm going to say this right. Anashan Ashan Kazi, Jew. Yeah. <laughs> Ashkenazi. I, so I'm Ashkenazi and Italian. That's what I am. So I found I mean, oh. I'm like. 80% on a Shukazi, you know, so I'm an Eastern, wow. Eastern European Jew, uh, Sicilian, you know, <laughs> so. So hot dogs and sausage, basically. Yes. Oh yeah. I love Hebrew national. And I never knew why. And I grew up next door growing up to Jewish family and I was always attracted to, for some reason, I've just always was fascinated with the Jewish religion and all of that. And every time I met an old Jewish woman, they go, you're a Jew. I go, I'm Protestant, you know, but genetically. Yeah, well, that's a, yeah that's a, it's, it's, it feels, yeah, it, it definitely, I, there's sort of an exoticism to it that I think at least, you know, during 
during Jewish American Heritage Month, it's 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 interesting to bear in mind that even though I think to a lot of people it still feels like an exotic sort of uh, a religion at a distance, it's it's really pretty. You know, we're we're, we're pretty normal, and and for, you know, it's it's we're pretty we're pretty chill, I think, um, and it, it's not as exotic as as one might think, and that's why I think the the, the video series hopefully you know really appeals to everybody because it's just it's just it's universal you know it is you know it's a new digital series from comedy central too so are you excited that's like a new frontier yeah absolutely i mean you know doing digital doing a digital series across you know a bunch of um formats i think is a really cool way to connect with people um everybody is taking in information and content in different ways now and so hopefully this connects with people too well, Elliot, congratulations, and I appreciate your time today, and I wish you the best of luck with the new series. And by the way, I love iCarly, so I'm a big fan, and uh, I haven't seen the new season yet, but uh, I'm getting, you know, I'm so bogged down right now, but it's on my list. So, uh, you know, congratulations on that, too. It's really funny. Thank you. I appreciate it. Come visit us in Las Vegas soon. We'd love to have you. Sounds great. we Will do.